I am near Mandela's mantle. And I thought I already landed on this thing, but isn't that just the Mandela effect? Die, Frost, Talus, or I might die first. Whoop! Good morning, guys and gals, and welcome to a brand new recording session. Last time, we achieved a lot. Both high, well, I guess, no, it's still high. Both high and extremely low. And I think this recording session, in the next couple episodes, I'm going to be uh, fully exploring the depths, as well as uh, rounding out some loose ends. The first of which being the Giga Clan base, because I'm not sure... I, I kind of skipped over that. I kind of kept saying that I would do it eventually, but that eventually never came. Uh, you know, I don't, on second thought, I don't have to kill them. It seems like they're always warring over loot, which I, okay. I'm fine just taking and leaving. That said, I don't have the best weapons right now. Like, I have these goober good weapons, but I don't have... I don't have, like, generically good weapons. Ooh, 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 actually, before we get into this, I'm gonna try it. You guys didn't tell me yay or nay, so I'm gonna assume it's yay. I'm gonna try a diamond on a magic rod. This is probably a bad idea. What is it called? Diamond Reaper. No, it doesn't do anything! No! <laughs> It's just a weapon. That's <laughs> so disappointing. Well, there goes a diamond. Uh, <laughs> but you know what? You don't learn until you try. What is going on? A little standoff between a a traveler and a bakoblin. You know what? I think I'll I'll rain vengeance from above. <laughs> Uh, I don't care about being too flashy here. Oh, he blocked it? No! Uh, why? <laughs> you know, I'll take it. it. It put me, it put me nearby. It's not the end of the world, but come on! First, he blocks it, which, how? How did he block it? And then secondly, he just, uh. Not again. Not again. I didn't mean to talk to you. When I was young, I used to eat monsters like this for breakfast. How did I let my skills get so rusty? No, you're not, you're not doing that. Don't worry, I can handle this alone. Ha! I wish. I'm glad you're here. A sturdy wooden stick? Oh boy! I can replace- <gasps> Yes! Yes! You know what? That That is the best death that ever was. I learned. I still have- Oh, yes! Oh! You know, in a past timeline, I died. And I couldn't be happier about that. Hello, Kalisa. She's a different build than the other Gerudo. That's kind of cool. Saba Saba. So we meet again, apparently. Uh -huh. The work of a dedicated treasure hunter never ends, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Mm. As a legendary treasure hunter, I'm more than happy to share some tips with you. The key to making new discoveries is being able to get somewhere high up. A cliff, ruins that have fallen from the sky. As long as it is high up, it'll work just fine. Uh -huh. So get high up and look around. You're bound to discover all kinds of things. I better get going, but I hope we meet again. Savork! That's... I'm so happy to see her. Uh, let's grab some lemons. You can never have too many lemons. Uh, and then let's let's see what this Yuga clan is all about. In Breath of the Wild, I don't get why I'm recapping this. It's definitely something that 99% of you already know. But in Breath of the Wild, um, there is a, a story reason to go down here. And... There isn't in this game. The Yiga clan kind of have a different uh, different niche. I also need to equip some boots that have a different niche. And in this game, it's it's entirely optional. So 
but it's also fleshed out. Like, they have the models of the interior all built, so maybe, maybe we learn something. Maybe we gain something. I mean, the the Yiga have some sort of magic that allows them to operate the machinery, the, the vehicles, so maybe we can get our hands on that same magic. Although theirs probably comes from Ganondorf. But, it, but you know, maybe Ganondorf's chill. Maybe he's chill. He, we had a conversation. I mean, it was mainly him, but we we talked a little bit. You know, there were those frog statues again, and there are those which are clearly like some sort of trap. So there are probably people here, I'd imagine. Some sand falling on the ground and nothing else. Not even like a. Oh, need to be very careful. I could die. I could very easily die. Let's get that out just in case. My panic button. Okay, that's definitely a Yiga Clan member, right? Let's not even, like, fool ourselves here. Oh, no! It's, uh, it's this person. Hello, this person. Uh, stylish person. Oh, it's not a named NPC, which means it's probably Yiga Clan. Uh, what's the matter? There's one thing I want no matter but what. Um, well, it's probably not me, so I'm just gonna give you some space. Hey, you're just gonna leave a girl crying on her own? You're just as mean as everyone says. Well, now I won't feel guilty for taking your life. Ugh. You know what? I did need a new weapon, I guess. What are you doing? What do I have out? And can it not be the thing I had out? This ought to do the trick. You know what? Oh, that was a good test. I have a theory. I have a theory, and I want you guys to hear me out on this. I complained that Flurry Rush uses uh, durability, but I actually don't think it does. Thinking back, the only times my weapons ever broke during a Flurry Rush were on the first hit. I've never had them break on a second or third. So, I think it's possible that overkilling someone doesn't matter. It's not a bad thing. That actually, I can feel free to wail on them because I'm not going to lose my weapon doing so. And I'm going to test it out. I, I Clearly, this doesn't have one more hit left, right? It, it would have broke if that were the case. So, I'm gonna keep flurry rushing with this weapon specifically, and we're going to find out. For science, I think I might be right, in which case, that is very good design. Um, overkilling somebody should not use durability, or else it's optimal to not do the cool thing the game designers want you to do. I also have no idea what is up with these frogs. Uh, they're... There's probably some sort of Shinto reference here. Um, I guess it doesn't have to be Shinto. I, oh, what is it? I forget. I actually just watched the doc, the doc again on um, Breath of the Wild's design. Uh, it starts with a J, I think. The period that Breath of the Wild was was modeled after. And so I guess it could still be Shinto because that isn't like an era. It's a religion, but, but still. Uh, do they have anything good? No. I guess they have weapon. They do have weapon, but I have... Or not weapon, they have horns, but I have horns. I have... My problem is I don't have good bases, so I, I need to find something good here. Uh, wait, did I not take that weapon? I didn't. Do I go back for it? Did it, has it despawn? Probably. You know, it's not that important to me. Okay, that's, that frog is kind of the point of no return. You know, because I've been dying so, so quickly and my food restores so much, uh, so many hearts, I'm... I'm actually very- and I'm also not getting defense anytime soon. I am extremely tempted to start upping my hearts. Plus, honestly, we have so many- so little stamina- uh, so few stamina upgrades remaining, but so many heart increases remaining that it might just be- I don't know. Break up the monotony if I do some of the hearts now. Yiga Clan Hideout. Are you evil? Mo? Ah. Me <laughs> starts in them. <clears throat> hey, so I heard I could learn this really cool move here. I think it's called the earthquake technique. What? 
been lost. Only Yiga clan members may enter this place. <laughs> and I want to join you. I heard you guys could teach me some cool moves that I'd that have everyone swooning over me. To join us is to become part of the collective shroud in secrecy, our lives sworn to Master Koga. And beyond that, Ganondorf. Who you are before matters not. Only your strength, your loyalty, and your skill for espionage. Fight our three branches and collect the clan of Tyre. Ooh. Earn your place amongst us and the door will open for you. Maybe then we'll teach you our moves. Now go away. Huh? Go away. I didn't get a hint about where the branches are or even a peek at what the Giga clan wears. Hey, come on, you've got to be kidding. My mom said, I know my sweet little Mimos will pass the Yiga test first try. That's why I came all the way here. But not only did I not pass, I didn't even get past the front gate. But if I do join the Yiga clan, I'll be then I'll be able to learn some cool moves. I if I could bust them out, then everybody'd be like, Wow, Mimos, you're so handsome and cool. Hmm? Yeah. What, you wanna join the Yiga clan too? I've got some bad news. They won't let you in unless you get your y own Yiga outfit from these three branch places. Boy, what a dangerous, life-threatening ordeal that must be. You should probably just give up now, I'd say. I better try to scare him off. Keep the competition slim. Not that I have any idea where to start. I guess there was a rumor that the Yiga clan took over the what's-its-name lab up northeast in Akala. Maybe that's something. Oh, what? That's a Yiga thing now? Oh, that makes total sense, though. That's, that's where Kogo is heading. Can I talk to this and get some hints? <laughs> it's you. Attention all members. We're under attack. It's the link. Prepare for battle immediately. Uh, you know what? I could I did say I needed some weapons now, didn't I? And that would be that would be useful. I could <laughs> Yep, hi. Okay. Okay. Let's uh let's do this. This is not good. Give me the flurry. Give me the boat. Give me something that's powerful. Uh, you taste my construct horn. Okay, he's dead. Run in. Two hits. Oh wait, 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 wait. We're trying. We're trying this out. We're trying this out. Oh. Okay, so maybe, maybe, I'm gonna change my theory. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move the goalposts a little bit. Maybe it costs one durability, we use that one durability, and then from there, that would make sense, that would make sense, that would only use one. Whoa! I tried to backflip, did not work. Uh, I should, probably shouldn't use this weapon if I want to fuse it. Let's, let's use this. Where, where'd he go? What was the point of that, buddy? What was what was the point? Beyond giving us a sick blade that uh, it cleaves the wind, creates a vacuum. Okay. Uh, what do I fuse that with? Improved sneak strike. Let's take this. Oh, look at that animation, though. Cool. Okay, can we go back? Do, does, do they summon more enforcers? Is this a way to get infinite eightfold blades? Or perhaps they'll let me in now. We discovered an intruder in our midst, so the hideout is unlocked out for now. You who can't get past doors, we feel very threatened by you. Okay, well. I suppose that's that. I'm still going to go up top. Be thorough. Sup, Wolf, how's it going? Uh, where am I going? I go on top of this. I, so I actually do have a secondary goal. I'm not just, I'm not just, uh, ad-libbing here or, or, um, improvising, rather. Uh, there is something that I've been dancing around since I got here. And that something is tumbleweeds. No, it's not tumbleweeds. Uh, that something is the rune that's on the side of the mountain. I have no idea what that's for. And it, we're actually close by right now, so I think if I seek that out, we can get there. It should just be, like, right on the other side of this hill, I think. I didn't I didn't bother to mark it on the map. More wolves, which 
You know what? I'm I kind of am down just to get generic good meat. I don't like killing wolves, but I think I think with enough enough wanton murder of man's best friend, I can take my conscience and shove it someplace that it'll never be found. Where on earth are the runes? Are they up there? I don't remember where they were now. I could have sworn they were out over here though. Um, let's get up a little bit higher. It took me getting this high to find it. Strange that something so large could be so easily hidden. But, I think it would be best if I didn't just land on it. But I, I made a gentle approach, because it might be nothing. And if it is nothing, then what do I- I have nothing to show for it. I guess we've been here bef- maybe we have been here before, but I haven't been on this- this side area here. I don't think- I probably was over there. So we just land over here. We might see some new sites. We might find a new shrine. Uh, the tower was here in Breath of the Wild, I believe. But clearly, clearly they've moved on. Clearly, uh, they've disappeared without a trace, which we're not going to question why. Not going to question where they went. What is... What are these runes? I have no idea. There's... Whatever quest hook, like, we got a quest hook very early on in the game. I think, like, episode 8 or something. Um, maybe 10. That talked about these runes and they, that they had a purpose. But I just never took it. And this is actually the closest that I've been to one. Okay, I'm touching one. <laughs> It caused- it's, it ate all my battery, that's the effect, oh no! Uh, what- what do these do? What? Nothing? Is there like a sigil in the center? No, but there's a that. That's- You know, it's more than nothing. It's- it's nothing adjacent, really. It's- What? I don't... I don't know. It's not glowing. So maybe it's... Maybe it's supposed to glow? Maybe it's just something that I haven't pursued yet. Okay. Um, again, that's why we did stuff on the way, kind of. Is there a thing? There's a battery. It's kind of hype. I did not mean to do that. I don't... I think that might be it. 